for war against Costa Gardner. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show. To you, my YouTube buddies, what's going on? Hmm. Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it after the show. Now, let's just get into the show. So for the last few episodes, we've been covering this stuff, Coco Coir. Coco Coir. And more specifically, how growing with this differs from growing with this, just regular soil. Kind of made a mess there. And more specifically still, do you use a different pH level for your mixture when you're growing this cocoa as opposed to growing with just your garden variety type of, well, it's not really garden variety, this is good stuff, but with regular soil, you know, peat, cocoa, perlite, that sort of thing. And the answer is no. You want to use the same pH for both because while you would pr probably consider this to be more of a soilless medium when you're growing with nectar, this stuff, which is what we're talking about, there is really no soilless medium because you're using natural inputs and those are all trying to get up into the plant. And instead of using some sort of nitrite salt type thing, what they're doing is trying to get the calcium, calcium phosphate, up into the plant, focusing on that. And to be focused on that, you need to be in the place where it's most viable to the plant, where it can take it up the best. And that's around a pH of 6.3 to 6.8, somewhere in there. So when you're growing a nectar, the pH doesn't change no matter what you're in. But there is something that does change, something that is different using the cocoa over using the soil. Microbes, microbial life. They're in here, just hanging out in this soil. It's teeming with them, because these microbes are teeming with the stuff that's in the soil, the peat moss and all that, to make a lot of stuff going on. Whereas over here in the cocoa, there's nothing going on. You can support microbial life in this stuff, but it is not naturally there because it's uh, it's inert by nature. It came from a, a salty type environment and all this stuff is just not there yet. And you might say, well, you know, I don't need any of that microbial life because this stuff is available to the plant and I got this stuff going on, this stuff going on, this stuff going on, breaking that stuff down, making it uh, nice and available to the plant. And you're not wrong, because this stuff here and all this stuff over here are a big, wonderful buffet for your plant. But what happens is you take all this stuff and you put it down in your mixture, put it into the soil at the right pH, and your plant takes up what it needs out of that. But it doesn't need all of that. It picks and chooses what it wants. And like any good steward of the land, it leaves behind what it doesn't need. And that stuff bonds to other stuff and just kind of hangs out in there. But later on, the plant can still use that. You don't need to flush that out because you can use this stuff. Ugh. Or this stuff, and especially this stuff, to break all that stuff, all those nutrients down, back into a form that's available to the plant. And that's just not a way to save money, it's a more efficient and more elegant way to grow. So to summarize, so to sum, ugh, I got dirt in my coffee. So to summarize, it's real important, it's very helpful, very useful to have a rich microbial field in your soil. And while you could probably do that just by doing that over here, it's a good idea to have some sort of microbial inoculant you add in there, this kind of thing, to help that along to break that down. And uh, while it's good here, I would have to say it's probably crucial here because when you start off with this stuff with the cocoa, there's nothing going on there. So uh, I guess that's a, we'll get deeper into this, but the point being of this is that you definitely want to have some sort of microbial thing going on and you need to help that along if you're doing it with the cocoa. And uh, we'll get deeper into it tomorrow. That's the show for today. I love you and I'll see you then. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.